Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So I, I have to say, I finally got this package in the mail. This has been, I guess, long awaited. Um, this was sent to me by Ellington Pens. They're, I guess, a UK based company. I'm going to get into a little bit more of that. Um, but yeah, so they asked me to do a review of their pen. I'm not being paid for this review at all, but they did send me a pen for review. So let's get started. First of all, though, I do want to say that I have watched a couple of other reviews and I feel like there's reviews on both sides. You are going to get some really, really positive ones and some not so positive. And I've watched a review by David of Fig Boot on pens and he went into a lot of detail about where this company is based, where they're fulfilling their pens, where the pens are manufactured. I highly recommend watching his video because it is very informative. And then I watch other videos like Alicia of Adventure Denali, who basically says for a pen, it writes, it works, it's great. So there is a mix on both sides as to what the thoughts are on this pen. Uh, so let's just take it right out and I will give you my first impressions of this pen. So firstly, it comes in this lovely box here. It is being advertised as a $40 luxury pen. Now, I, I feel like I'm pretty new to the fountain pen community. I mean, I've only been collecting fountain pens really for the last year. Oh my goodness, I can't even open this. But what somebody would call luxury could be different to another person's definition of luxury. But so far, it comes in this lovely box. And then it comes in this really nice clamshell box here that, you know, has got a little bit of cushioning at the top. And then you've got Ellington pens stamped on the top. And it is. Ah, so they've got the business card with their QR code along with um, if it does or doesn't satisfy, send an email. And then uh, they'll see that you are satisfied. So with this pen, let's zoom in. So you get a box of their cartridges, which one, oh, hold on, what's in there? You get two black and one blue. Don't really use cartridges, but this is something I will, I normally keep because I know there are people who do use these, but it's nice to have that included. And then you have the pen here, which is in its plastic sleeve. And you've got this, actually, it's a really nice matte black with the shiny finials and the Ellington along the cap. And then you've got the clip, which actually for a clip, it's not too bad, but I have seen some people, I think it was, um, was it Chris Rapp who was able to completely disassemble this pen? Um, but yeah, so far first impression, not too bad. I'm going to see if there's anything else included in here. Nope. You can't even take that up from the bottom. So I'm going to move this out of the way and to show you this pen. So is it a snap cap? It is a snap cap. I actually do enjoy snap caps. So let's see. Oh, the snap is pretty good. Very good. So then it has a black nib and it, I believe it only comes in the fine medium. Let me check. So it is a black nib that comes only in the medium size, but I believe they are hoping to come out with other nib sizes as well. And you can see there the plastic feed, but opening that up, there is a converter included in there. There you go. And this is not one I believe that you can eyedropper because this is not plastic. I don't think it is plastic, but for the first impressions of this pen, it's actually not too badly weighted in my hand. And then if I try to post it, it does post, but it does feel like it back weights the pen. Now it has, they have said on the website that this is very well balanced pen posted or unposted. I don't agree. I think that when you post it, it is very back heavy. Yeah. And then without posting, I think it actually works really, really well for me. Anything else about this pen that I am noticing? I mean, the grip section feels a little bit 
narrow for me personally, but everybody's different in what they like in terms of the grip section. But I'm gonna post that and then I will compare it to the sizes of other pens. So there is the Ellington pen, and I just forgot to say this is the black model with the black nib. That's all I can see from the box. So there's the Twisby Eco and a Pelican M605. And you've got a Sailor Pro Gear and a Pilot Prera. So then let's look at these uncapped. So there are all the pens uncapped and it's very similar in size to the Pelican M605. Um, and it's definitely smaller than the Twisby Eco, but you can also tell by the grip sections in the Pelican M605 compared to the Ellington pen. It is a little bit more narrow than what I normally like. So now let's look at the weight of this pen. So putting that on the scale with the cap on, it is 34 grams. And then without the cap, with the converter inside it, mind you, don't roll away, don't roll away, don't roll away. It's gonna roll. It is 18 grams without the cap. And now I'm going to do a quick writing sample. And I always dip test my pens using Pilot or Roshizuku Sukio. I find that if I have a constant in terms of the ink, then I'll definitely know whether it's the ink or the pen that's having the issue. So this is the Ellington pen in the black. Medium nib. Oh gosh, can I spell medium? Oh, there we go. Medium, and it's a steel nib. And I believe this retails for around $40 US. And I have to say, it's actually not too bad. Oh, let's dip it again. Doesn't normally run out on me like that. That's interesting. Normally, when I dip the pen, it lasts me a while, but this one, okay. So it is a steel nib. There is a tiny bit of give to it, but I wouldn't push it too far. And then in terms of reverse writing, it's a little scratchy, but it's actually not too bad. In terms of the overall smoothness, It's not too bad. You can definitely hear that feedback in there. Yeah, you can certainly hear that feedback in there. R S T U V. Yeah, not really any line variation with a medium pen, a medium nib, but it writes. It writes, it's not, I don't know, it's, it, it's not wowing me right out of the box, but So my final thoughts on this pan, it does look actually quite sleek and I like that there are uh, various different color options uh, on the website. So depending on what style you like, there should be one that will suit you. Um, and I do like the snap cap, really enjoy that snap cap. The grip section itself, it's not matte like the rest of the pen, so it could be a little bit slippery for some people. And there is a tiny step up here, which I rest my fingers on that. It's actually not too sharp at all. And the nib itself, I worked a little bit on it with a little bit of mesh, but it is still a little bit feedbacky. And you can hear that kind of, there's a little bit of a squeak when you're writing with it. Overall, 
I think for a $40 pen, um, I don't think it should be marketed as luxury, but I think for $40, it, it's almost around the, the same as, you know, a Pilot Metropolitan uh, or something like that. I feel like it's in the same category as a Pilot Metropolitan and it does write well, but too much feedback for me personally. But uh, for anybody who um, actually enjoys feedback, you might like this type of pen as well. For me, I don't like to post my pens. I find that this pen is a little back heavy when posted. Uh, so, but I don't normally post my pens, so it doesn't bother me too, too much. But if you do like to post your pens, it does post well. It does post there securely, but it is a little bit back heavy. And with this pen, it is and it's actually a nice weight in my hands. It's not too light. I like pens that are a little bit heavier. So overall for me, probably this pen wouldn't be for me personally. I prefer a larger grip section and I kind of do prefer the maybe a slightly finer nib and less feedback on the nib itself. But I'm sure this would be something that a lot of people would really like at the price point that it is at. Plus, it does come with a converter and three cartridges as well. But that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.